Welcome to the second hour this morning. Here are today's headlines. Human Rights Watch published an in-depth report on how Internet images ruin women's lives in Korea, criticizing the country's inadequate criminal legal system, mostly composed of men who do not grasp the severity of these digital sex crimes. The 96-page report, entitled My Life is Not Your Porn, Digital Sex Crimes in South Korea, showed women victims uh, as depicted in these crimes that have difficulty seeking criminal and civil remedies partly due to deeply entrenched gender inequality. This report was extensively reported by global media outlets such as Reuters, CNN, BBC, The Financial Times, and The Washington Post. The Japanese government has decided to lift a state of emergency declared in nine prefectures, including Tokyo and Osaka, on the 21st, as well as to increase an audience cap applied to large sports events from 5,000 to 10,000. The Japanese government plans to apply the same cap to the Summer Olympics and Paralympics, but health experts have expressed skepticism over allowing spectators at the Games. The head of the Corruption Investigation Office for high-ranking officials, or Kong Soo-cheo, Kim jin Uk, apologized for causing controversy over fairness, likely in response to the key suspect, Lee sung yoon chief of the Seoul High Prosecutor's Office, in the CIO chief's official vehicle to an interview. He asked for an understanding of the agency's need to go through trials and errors in its initial stage, and regarding a probe into the former Prosecutor General Yoon sa gyal Kim said the investigation hasn't started, emphasizing he will end the investigation into Yoon before the presidential elections to prevent any possible controversies over the CIO attempting to influence the election. Finally, firefighters have been struggling to put out a massive fire at the Kupang Distribution Center in Ichun since 5 a.m. yesterday. While authorities are concerned that the building might collapse due to the prolonged period of the fire, one firefighter in his 50s has been trapped in the building for more than 11 hours. News of his survival have not yet been reported. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you will also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. <laughs> 